Good afternoon, this is Dave Galligan and I'd like to go over a database function in Excel that is very useful for the production medicine consultant. Over here on the left we have the database of interest. We have cow, milk, lactation number, and group. Uh, this would be the database. It could exist in this sheet or another sheet and of course could be much larger. Then we also have a criteria range that has column headings that match what those that are in our database. And under these column headings, we put in the fields of the criteria, the fields that we're interested in. In other words, I'm interested in, in milk production levels less than 80. I'm interested in cows whose lactation number is one and are, who are in group A. And so down here, we have the database functions written in and they have this uh, format. So the count would be D count. You specify the data range and the column, in this case the milk, so I want to count the milk based on the criteria, which is in cells F6 uh, to H7. So if I highlight those cells, you can see that the, that is the formula that's in, that is in, in those cells. Um, so it's that, it's that easy. Uh, you also have the database sum and the database average as functions as well. Uh, as you change the database over here, for example, let's say that I introduce uh, that uh, Cal C uh, it has a milk production of 20, so I'm changing the database, and she is also in group A, so I'll change this to A. Uh, now we will see that these numbers all change reflecting uh, that cow's uh, contribution to the data. Very wonderful function that allows a lot of flexibility as well as a lot of, um, uh, of dynamic capturing of changes in data. Thank you.